to get the lesson. So if you guys remember yesterday, we were talking about a story that was teaching us a lesson. Yeah. Do you guys remember what that story was? Yeah. What story was it? <coughs> about, uh, what's the elephant? About an elephant? Well, not, that's today's story, but yesterday, it was a story about a boy that was trying to learn how to do something. What was the boy trying to learn? Oh, how to ride bike. He was trying to learn how to ride a bike. And at first, he was struggling because he didn't know how to ride the bike. But then what happened? He learned. He learned. Who was helping him ride his bike? His mom. His mom. So when he finally was able to learn to ride his bike, was he feeling happy or sad? Happy. And what were some of the lessons that we learned from that story? Sometimes you need help from someone else. Sometimes you need help from someone else. Good, Axel. What else, Michael? What else? Other lesson did we learn from that story? He was nervous. He was nervous. And is it okay to be nervous sometimes? Yeah. Sometimes it's okay to be nervous when we don't know how to do something. So today we're going to learn a new story. We're going to learn about an elephant. And this time, today we're learning about what happens at the beginning at the middle and at the end of the story. Why is it important, Axel, to know what happens at the beginning, middle, and end? No. Like they can tell us what's happening. So the story can tell us exactly what's happening here, right? Good job, Axel. Michael, what would happen if I didn't know this part of the story? Not be reading. What ha What would happen if I only read the beginning of the story and the end of the story? Yeah, I know. I wouldn't know what was going to happen, right? I wouldn't know what was happening in the story. So today we're going to learn about beginning, middle, and end, and why it's important to learn all three parts of the story. Um, can you, Axel, read the, read the title of the story for us? How the Elephant Got His Long Nose. What do you guys think the story is going to be about? Michael? About an elephant. About an elephant, and what, is, what does the title tell us? Just an elephant, or what about specifically an elephant? A big um, nose. How he got a big nose. How he got a big nose. Okay, Axel, go ahead and read the first part for us. A long time ago, elephants had short noses. But one day, a crocodile bit a young elephant on the nose. Okay, Michael? Um, you know what? Okay, I'll read it for you. The elephant tried to pull away. As he pulled away, as he pulled and pulled, his nose got longer and longer. Axel, can you read the last part? When he pulled free, his nose was five feet long. He didn't like it at first, then he found new things to do with his long nose. He reached into the tree to grab the leaf. What happened first? What was the first thing that happened in this story? Um, he got bit. He got bit. By who? He was a crocodile. By a crocodile. Here, I'm gonna. You can see that here. You can see him here in your hand up, too. He was drinking water and then he got eaten. And then the crocodile came by his nose and then he 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 got uh, the he stretched his nose. And then he stretched his nose. I like the way you're recounting the story. You know, when we when we read a story and the way we retell it to someone else is how we see the story at the beginning, the middle, and the end. And it's important for us to pay attention to all three parts so that if somebody comes and says, hey, what's the story about? You don't have to read exactly the story to them. You can just recount the story. What does recount mean? To recount the story, what does it mean? Uh, to say the story. To say it over, to say it to somebody. And do we have to say the story in order, or can we just say the story however we want to? In order. If I told you guys a story and I started at the be at the end, if I said today I took a shower, no. but then I went into the bathroom last, is that the way the story goes? No. So it's important for us to be able to tell a story in order, so that people can understand what we're trying to tell them, so that they can understand the important events of the story. So we've already read this story. Now take your piece of paper that you have in front of you. And you guys are going to write in the first square, what does it say, Axel? Mm -hmm. So in the first square, you're going to fill in the important part of the beginning of the story. What was the important part of the beginning of the story? Mm -hmm. And you can, mm -hmm. go ahead. Mm -hmm. The elephant said drink water and a crocodile, a crocodile bit his nose and 
Okay, so the beginning, the important part was that the <laughs> elephant was trying to drink water and the crocodile bit his nose. So let's write the beginning first. Yes, the beginning. We said the beginning, the crocodile bit the elephant's nose, right? Do I write exactly that? Now, you don't have to write exactly what it says here because you're retelling the story in your own words. So you can look at the picture and you can tell, you can write in your own words what happened. So if you were to tell me without reading the, the story, what happened to, at the beginning, just write it down in that blank piece of paper. Okay. You can say like, the elephant came up to the lake and he drank water, but the crocodile bit him. Okay. You can say something like that, I'm right? Because we're basically re recounting the story. We're telling them the, the important details that happened at the very beginning. So Michael already told us that at the beginning of the story, the elephant did what? Um, did the elephant go to his house? No. Did the elephant go to the park? No. Where did the elephant go? To a pond. To a pond. So just write that. The elephant went to a pond, was drinking water, and something happened. What happened? The crocodile bit him. How could a crocodile bit somebody's nose? Hmm? Well, because you see how the elephant is close to the to the lake, and then he's the crocodile just came up and took a bite of his nose. So what happened? You're asking a good question. How did the croc? How did the elephant's nose get longer? 